Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig. It is six o'clock and uh, six o'clock. Well, six o'clock. Don't know which day, but six o'clock. Hello, it's time for a Magic Live. Uh, I'm here with Jack. How are you doing, Jack? All right. And today I'm going to be doing possibly the single most convoluted trick I've ever seen in my entire career as a magician. If you thought the wet twenty-one card trick took a while to do, buckle the fuck up. We're going on a journey right now. Um, this is going to take forever. Right. Okay. So this is called Aikida. It's by SEO Magic. Um, they're the ones that inflicted this on us. Um, and it's actually a really fooling trick, but it's, um, it takes a long way to get to the end of this thing. Um, uh, it's by Akita, it's called Magical Panel, and um, let's do this. So, uh, Jack, how you doing? I'm all right. I've got a few things. First of all, I have these tires. They're obviously not tires, but they look like tires to me, so I'm calling them tires. Yes. Next, I have counters. Now, Ikeda in the instructions said these are poker chips. If these are poker chips, my name's Bob. These are not poker chips. These are the sort of things that you get in tiddlywinks when you're a kid. So these are tiddlywink counters with A, B, C, and D on the orange ones. And uh, in Roman numerals, one, two, three, four. I'm sure that the Romans would count by going I, 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 I. IV? IV. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't around in the Roman years, despite what Ryan thinks. Um, now, as well as that, I also have these. These are magical panels. They're made out of wood. They look like the sort of things that you'd slot together to uh, make like a, a shelving unit or something. Which Just is, like Ikea. Well, I was about to say, which is <laughs> ironic that the trick's made by Ikea. Um, but these are wooden panels. Now, this one has cards on both sides. Notice it's a four by four grid, A, B, C, D along the top. Uh, one, two, three, four along the side. On both sides, you make sure that all the cards are different because they are different. Um, you yeah. Make sure there's nothing weird about that. Is it okay? Yeah, that's fine. Good stuff. Uh, now, these these panels are slightly different because each one of them has numbers on them. I want you to look at them, make sure that all the numbers are different. You'll notice there's some minus numbers. There's uh, mainly positive numbers. They're all different. It's not like it's the same thing printed on each side. Have a look at them. It's a random eclectic range of numbers. So we have numbers, numbers everywhere, and not one to add up. Are we good? So we have numbers. We have numbers. We have cards. We also have counters. We have tires. And we have a deck of cards. We have a lot. We have a lot. We have so much. Uh, this is a deck of 52 playing cards. They are all there. More importantly, they are all different. Uh, I'm going to give these cards a bit of a shuffle. I say shuffle because I can't say shuffle. Just said it. <laughs> I did a funny. Right, so uh, we'll give them one of those as well. But why not? Oh, there we go. And maybe one more cut, and we are good. You happy with that? Yeah. Good. We'll put them over there. We'll get them back to them. Notice they're out of my reach. <clears throat> Can't get to them. Right, okay, so this is where things get interesting. These four panels, we're going to start off with this panel, the one with the playing cards on it. Well, actually, before we do, let's go nuts. Let's really randomize things. I'm going to put these four panels out here like this. And Jack, what I want you to do is mix them up as much as you want to. You can turn them over and you can turn them over again. You can keep turning them over. If we hit 10 minutes, we get ad revenue. So really, just go for your life. Like, mix them up as much as you want to. Um, Magic TV's budget relies on you being thorough. So, you know, if we hurry, uh, it's not good. But if you take a while over this, we might be able to buy Matt a pack of what's it's look for dinner. So, um Mixy, mixy, mixy. You go crazy. And then we might even get Michael involved because he's behind the camera. And we might not. Depends on how I feel. Do you want to change anything around again? Nope. Are you happy? Yep. Okay. Michael, do you agree that we're happy right now? Yeah. Yeah, you're good. Yeah. You're good. You're good. As the, uh, as the person that's... Right. Okay. So... If you'd, change, if you'd mixed them up in a different way, they would have ended up in a completely different orientation, but we ended up here. Now, this is where the counters come in. We're going to start off with this one over here, uh, where the playing cards are. It could have been different cards, because they're all different cards on this side, but you ended up with this side. Um, notice there's one, two, three, four down the side, A, B, C, D along the top. You're going to take a green counter and an orange counter, and let me explain. You're going to put them over there, one green, one orange, and whatever the green and the orange counter is... That's the card we're going to look at. So if you put D1, it'll be a six of clubs. But if you put D, sorry, it'd be a three of hearts. But if you did put um, uh, C1, uh, it'll be the eight of clubs. If you put C4, it'll be the jack of spades. You get the idea. You can yep. do whatever you want to. It's completely up to you. Let's do B1. B1. Are you sure? Yep. <clears throat> Almost went Shakespearean. Okay. 2B. 
or not to be? That is the question. Apparently not to be. Right, so we've got 1B, which is the, sorry, 1B, uh, 1B is the 10 of diamonds. Would you agree? Yep. That's what the little tyres are for. So we can mark where you ended up with. 1B, 10 of diamonds. You make sure I'm honest. Now you understand what we're doing here. The other three are going to be for the uh, the numbers. So there's some minus numbers, there's some positive numbers, minus numbers. Um, go for your life. Just, just stick them out however you want to. And once you've put them out, if you want to change your mind on any of them, you can. It's totally up to you. We can change it around. We can keep changing it until you're happy. Are you sure? Yep. Okay, so we have A4. So A4 is number one. We have C3. Oh, it would have been brilliant if that was P and O. Um, C3 would have been 15. There you go. And D2, which is, which is to be honest, the worst of the Mighty Ducks movies. Uh, that is there. Is that correct? Yeah. Let's add them up, buddy. So one plus three is four. Very good. Fifteen plus four is nineteen. Very good. Nineteen and the ten of diamonds. Yep. Nineteen and the ten of diamonds. It, it could have been completely different. In all honesty, if you'd have switched those two around, would have been a different number. If you'd have put different, would have been a different number. We've got ten of diamonds. We've got 19. Take this deck and deal 18 cards face up on the table. Count them, but we're looking for the 10 of diamonds. Go. One, One two, three. three. As you deal, we want excitement. This is showbiz. Right. One, two, three, four. Five, six. A little bit more, like this. Seven, eight. Sorry, I'm on the clock. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Got me Italian. 15, 16, 17, 18. Stop. That's the 19th card. It is. You generated 19. You generated the 10 of diamonds. That's the 19th card. This would be an absolute miracle. Turn over that 19th card. Hey. Boom. How average is that? That's just like the... <laughs> <laughs> That's just, you know, great. I mean, I mean, we got there. I, I, it's very fooling. I bet you there's people that are fooled. I'm fooled and I just did the trick. I actually don't know how that trick works and I just did the trick. I do know that I ain't going to be carrying around four panels, eight counters, four dice, a pack of cards specifically for this one trick. But, you know, if Mr. Aikido wants to do that, then he can go for his life. It's very clever. It's the sort of thing that I would take to a magic convention and go, ha, you want to see something weird? I wouldn't say good. I'd say weird. Probably will fool you if you can stay awake long enough to watch it. Anyway, <laughs> that's it. That's, um, yeah, exactly. That's Magical Panel by Akita and uh, SEO Magic. Do me a favor. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. You want to see more videos like this. Um, and I promise I won't do any more long, boring card tricks. But if you want to see more videos like this, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll be back again tomorrow at 6 o'clock with another Magic Live. I'll see you then. <laughs>